Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Lazy Gunny here, back again with a new PC build. At this time, we're including NVIDIA's new GTX 1070 Ti. All Amazon links are down below in the description, so if you want to buy something, using those links will also help out the channel at no extra cost. But without further ado, let's get straight into the build. So starting it off with the processor, I've decided to go with the infamous Ryzen 5 1600. I've used this in many of my builds and at this price of $200, it's really hard to beat. What's neat is that it also comes with a cooler which is pretty decent and gets the job done so you don't have to worry about spending any money on getting a really expensive cooler unless of course you want that. In terms of performance, the Ryzen 5 does not disappoint. Its competition in terms of price is Intel's i5-7600K, which is outperformed by the 1600 in almost all tasks. But of course, unless you're really an Intel diehard fan, you can go ahead and get this one. It's almost the same price, um, but then you do have to get a new motherboard other than the one I'm going to discuss. Which takes me to the next point. The motherboard I've gone with here is the Gigabyte AB350 Gaming 3. I think it's the best option at this price. It comes in around $85 depending on when you purchase it. It's got everything that you need and more. It's got an M.2 slot, 4 DDR4 slots. It's even got RGB lighting, which is the theme what I'm looking for in this build. If you're not a fan of RGB lighting, you can save a couple of dollars and pick up the non-RGB lighting version. It's just called the AB350 Gaming. It's almost identical, but just doesn't have the RGB lighting. Moving on to the RAM, which right now the RAM prices are really crazy. So depending on when you look at these prices, they can vary. For this build, I intend to use 16 gigs of RAM, which is included in this sub $1,000 build. If the prices are too expensive, you can always buy 8 gigs now and upgrade later. Nevertheless, the cheapest and most reliable 16 gigs of RAM that I could find is the Ballistics Sport LT, which gets the job done for this build. Also remember when buying RAM to buy DDR4 RAM and not DDR3 because this motherboard only supports DDR4 RAM. For storage, as usual, we can either choose the Western Digital Blue 1TB hard drive or the Western Digital Blue SSD. The 1TB hard drive comes in at $50 and the SSD at $90. Of course, you can also include both of them, which is what most people do. They um, install the OS on the SSD and then they have all their games and stuff on the hard drive. Western Digital is a leading company when it comes to storage, so you can expect their hard drives to last a very long time. Now moving on to the heart of the build and what you've all been waiting for, the graphics card, the GTX 1070 Ti. Particularly for this build I've gone with the Zotac GTX 1070 Ti Mini. Now just because it's a mini version doesn't mean that it performs worse than a regular sized GTX 1070 Ti, in fact it's got the same number of CUDA cores, still has 8 gigs of VRAM and at this price I think it's the best bang for your buck in the entire 1080. I mean 1070 Ti Spectrum. It's even got LED so it fits in with this build. Also before everyone down below in the comment section says getting a 1080 is better, you might want to reconsider that thought. The GTX 1070 Ti, this version can be found from $449 while the GTX 1080 starts at $549. That's a hundred dollar difference and performance wise, well take a look at this. This is some benchmarks of the GTX 1070 Ti. This was submitted by you guys on Reddit so I've compiled them and made them into a graph. This is the benchmarks of the 1070 Ti, the 1080 and the 1070. And what you'll notice is that the 1070 Ti comes pretty darn close to the 1080 in almost all resolutions. Of course, if you want to go um, play on 4K, I think the 1080 would be a better option. But just in terms of overall price to performance, the 1070 Ti is right now the best for your money.
For the power supply, I've gone with the EVGA 550N1 series. It's nothing special, but for $40, it can definitely power this PC without any problems or any bottlenecking. You can check out the Amazon reviews, everyone seems to be fine and happy with this um, power supply, so don't expect any problems with this power supply. Last but not least, the beauty of this build, the case. The Cooler Master Masterbox Lite 5 RGB. It's the most amazing case you'll ever get for $70. I mean, look at it. It's got a 4mm thick tempered glass panel on the side, three 120mm RGB fans pre-installed on the front, giving it those amazing color effects and cooling down the PC. And it's even got three customizable trim options that can be changed up to three colors. So for that price of $70, I think this is a must buy. With that being said, that wraps up the build. If I add up everything included in this video at the time of making this video, the total price of this build comes to around $1,050, which I think is the sweet spot for high-end gaming right now. And also remember, since Black Friday is literally in like 4 days time, expect a lot of these to be on sale on Amazon and on other online shops. So be sure to check the links down below in the description. Also let me know down below in the comment section on how I could have improved this build, what you would have done, added, replaced, um, kept the same. Um, your opinions really count and matter. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Please leave a like on this video, it helps out the channel. Also subscribe if you want more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.